Absolutely, and when you consider the fact that they only scored 54 points and were able to win, that shows the maturity of this North Carolina team. And we're underway as Miami wins the opening tip. This is a battered and bruised Miami team down a couple of starters into this game. It's going to be straight uphill. They may need a miracle. And it might start with that guy, North Chad O'Meara, who comes in averaging 17 and 10. And Elliot Cadeau comes out of the pack with it to trigger the break. And let's see what's up with R.J. Davis in this game. That's a great way to start. Big battle for the rebound and a save for the Canes. And here they come. Confidence right there for Boussan George pulling up on the break. Man, performer in the ACC this season, Obi. 40% from three is Ryan. Feeling it. First half. The theme of the day could be the three, OB. As a matter of fact, all five field goals have been made from beyond it. And of course, he was the leading scorer against Virginia with those six made three point field goals. And Yields fans love the timing, right? As we close in on the NCAA tournament, first the ACC tournament. But there's George again, 6 and 11 in conference play. Hopes are so high this year, but the injury bug has been devastating. Davis working at baseline. What a quick step on the reverse. He blew right by Matthew Cleveland. But not just that, the threat of Nigel Pack's shooting ability often opens up so many other things for his teammates. And we've got a great look, courtesy of Baycott. <laughs> well, we don't want that to happen. We don't want anyone getting hurt. Indeed, the slam. The local getting free underneath the big freshman. Davis. Who hit a quick shot, goes airborne for two more. He has seven. The swing to Ryan for a triple. A oh, big rebound there by Withers. He earned that one, a 6 9 grand out of Charlotte. The Carolina did, particularly Armando Bakehead, who has five. And that's a staple of North Carolina basketball, as is scoring quickly. And of course, anytime you think about Houston at number one, and not that they haven't been there before since, but always takes me back to the five slam jammer. Boy, look at this. And with a shot clock almost to zero, stepping in front of Cormac Ryan, but offensively going back to the days of ice. A little bit of finger roll there, but you got to get that is funny to me when you talk about guys are more skilled than those guys. Those guys were certainly artists. Joe Bay kicks out for Joseph. Nice fake to get himself open and sticks it. Drains the three. Hensley Joseph has stepped up significantly for this Miami team as of late, becoming more of a scorer. But when you play against the heels, here's George again around the back. George wants to heave up a three. Got it. Great job defensively by Bensley Joseph getting back and defending without fouling. Oh, that's great hands by the go. Get up, RJ. Davis finishes. Oh. I got to boo that one. Including tonight in 11 out of 18 ACC games, Miami's had at least one starter out. So far, they're 2 and 8. First 10. Sweeping it again is Davis. Joe Girard going to Clemson. He's made a big difference for a team that's going to the NCAA tournament. He absolutely has. And he's the guy that's the finisher for the Clemson Tigers. When P.J. Hall does everything else, Matthew Cleveland finishes a great find from beyond the arc that makes it a one-point game, knocking down now the sixth three-point field goal already in this game for Miami. Davis to dribble down, fires, and yes. Joseph with a step back three. Got it. That rattles on. That's the way Benzie Joseph is built. And he's going to give Miami everything he can a chance to win this game. Bangkok slams it as he rolls to the iron. Miami's been raining triples. Here's another one. And another one goes. He was coaching the heck out of the thing at practice. There was give no quarter today. As Ryan slams on the brakes and drops it a short one. Couldn't agree with you more about Jim Laranega. He should have been in the big Hall of Fame a while ago. Well, he's on the ballot. This is now so oh, slammed by Matthew Cleveland. The second year for Coach Laranega on the ballot. Cadeau, uh, Cadeau has been very impressive. Oh, a nice strike on the inbounds to Cadeau. That was lightning quick. Joseph with a crossover, scoops it in for two. Hensley Joseph has been the offensive catalyst. Goodell, back pass here for Davis. Got it. His big half continues with 21.
was the R.J. Davis show with 21 points at halftime as we toss it to Kev Seth and Sean. And we saw on Saturday it was actually Cormac Bryan who had 15 of North Carolina's first 26 points in that first half against Virginia. So they've seen that production before. I think Armando Bacot got a piece of that one. And Bacot has to get that basketball when he does it defensively and spreads the floor with Keyshawn George. Even though he's 6'8", he's a guard. Quick timeout for Miami to start the second half because Coach Larinaga said the concern for him in the second half was finding the balance between guarding the bigs in the paint for the Tar Heels while also finding ways to slow down. North Carolina's had some really good open looks. Is Joseph, and he'll bury it as he knocks down a two-pointer. And North Carolina hasn't been able to separate from Miami. We asked what would be the case when North Carolina made that run. Miami has responded each time. Cadola, the backdoor cut to lay it in. Nice five from Baycott. The bounce for Baycott. Working against George. Nice feed. Ryan can't get it to go, but he follows his miss for two. And that was the difference maker. That's what made him choose to come to University of North Carolina over so many other schools. As we see. Yep, Ingram will be headed to the line looking for three-point play. Watch Harrison Ingram go to work in the post. Where he was going to go, believe it or not, he was going to go play for Lefty Drizel. 21 points a game on the nose. And another thing they have in common, both New Yorkers, even though Charles Scott as R.J. Davis gets a bucket as we're talking about his scoring prowess. He talked a lot about coming to the South was also a culture shock for him in the 60s. That'll rattle in by Joseph as the three-pointers keep coming. Omir has to get that. You've got Baycott on the bench. Jalen Washington trying to defend him. And that's easy pickings for North Chad Omir. He leads to more boards, but he has 14 over the top. Intended for Washington, knocked away by Miami. The give for Cleveland, and he lays it in. Three here would go a long way, OB. Mesley Joseph is open on this corner. Knocked away by Ingram. He got to it. He stayed in bounds, and he'll lay it in. And if you're Miami, you want to see if you can score quickly before North Carolina gets back down. But of course, a great option has always been to get the ball in the hands of Amir as well. Man, is he tough. Back to Amir. Omir off the bounce, really looking as though he's going to go dribble handoff. And then recognizing Baycott, Coach Larinag and his staff have been throughout this season. Trimble drives, lays it in and draws the foul as well. Off the nice find from Elliot Cadot, catching Keyshawn George with his back turn and his head turn, allowing Seth Trimble to get in the first half, the two for eight in the second half. Here's a long one, Davis, yes. 30 on the nose now for RJ. North Carolina's been looking for the opening all night. Here's Davis again, yes. And they found that opening. Here's their biggest lead for... As mentioned, 36, his career high. Over here on a spin. And he'll lay it in and draw the contact too. He'll be headed the line. Everything running through number 15, so here. Joseph got it back underneath. Watson connects. Great find from Bensley Joseph, who's also on the right angle, angle to be able to enter the basketball into the post. Joseph turns, fires, swishes in the three. Just like that. It's a seven. And Baycott should just go right at North Chad O'Meara. He's got four fouls. you got to recognize that. Davis knocked off balance. Hits it anyway. And this is still a game. This is not a blowout. So North Carolina is going to need his offense down the stretch. He wants another triple. Got Other side of the card. It's a big deal. Joseph back out for Omir for a three. Yes. So the violation, 72-62. Joseph launching. Got it. And with the three-pointers, they're hanging in. That's 20. Forced by Miami's full-court defense. 8-0. There's another one. Picked off. George will turn and fire. Got it. A three-pointer. You can have it. Inbound for Watson, he'll heave it, and can't hit it. That's the ball game. North Carolina wins it. 75-71. They beat Miami on a big Monday. Our player of the game without question, R.J. Davis. A career high, 42. A new Dean Smith Center record.